Hi, right, Gospel Guitarist here again with another addition to doing more advanced things with your audio system. I released a video also on how to patch in your effects into your individual channel inserts using a channel insert cable in my last video. In this video, I'm going to use the same processor here, um, commonly used for um, an auxiliary send. So, what if you have an effects unit like this? I only have one, and um, but I have all these channels that I need to put compression on. So how can I do that? Well, one of the ways you can do that, actually it'd be more useful to have an effects unit, but <laughs> reverb would be more popular. Um, but you can do it with anything. So what you're going to do first is you're going to find your auxiliary send outputs. Now in this mixer I have output 1 and 2. Now if I'm doing a live show I'm going to use 1 for my stage monitoring. So if I want to use an effects unit this way um, and it probably wouldn't be a compressor. It probably would be a, an effect unit so I have reverb and things on each channels but it's hooked up the same way. I would use... I like to use these because they're just color-coded. Um, you would come out your auxiliary 2 and in the back of the unit you would take the same gray plug that you're coming out of auxiliary 2 and you're sending it into your effects unit. And then I would take the red coated cable run from the output of the effects unit and onto your effects return number two or into your effects return I'm used to bigger boards um, <laughs> so on this unit we have a single effects return and so we would come out and re-enter the system at your effects return here which on boards are always stereo if you want to run stereo effects in this case I'm only running one so I'm running it in mono and now it's available this unit's available on all my channels and so by on all my channels I mean on your board you're going to have an auxiliary one master in the master section um, right here and on this board I have a built-in effects as well but you can run your own favorites outside so my effects send is going to adjust how much signal is sent to the effects unit so I'm on aux 2 so I'm going to use the aux 2 maybe put it about one o'clock or so now on all of my channels I would use auxiliary 2 to send the signal to the effect. So if it's a reverb and you got drums going on and vocals you can have the vocalist on channel 1 or something and uh, turn up aux 2 and it's going to send the vocal to the reverb unit. Maybe you want it on a snare drum so you can turn up auxiliary 2 on your snare channel say it's on channel 3 here and then you'll get some reverbs on uh, snare. Maybe you have a guitar, acoustic guitar, you want a low reverb on. So whatever you want reverb on, it's going it's available on aux 2 on every single channel all the way across your board. And then the master is in the master section that controls the main level. And when you turn this knob up and down, all of the channels go up and down. And then the individual channels will adjust each one individually. So you can tailor the flavor of reverb to a bunch of different sources without having a hundred different reverb units. Of course the reverb is going to be identical on all of those as well. So that's one way that you can uh, patch in a reverb unit, which is the most popular thing to do is have your house reverb or effects unit on your auxiliary send so that it is available everywhere. Then we run our compressors on our individual um, inserts usually so I hope that's helpful 
And please remember to like, subscribe, and to pass it on to your friends. Thanks for watching.